What inspires me when I make artwork is mostly you know, reacting to my environment. It's about stopping and being present in the moment and, and paying attention to all of these sensory and perceptual elements. I think it has a lot to do with how I grew up and how I responded to my surroundings. It had to do with my sensitivities. My environment played a really large role in, in why I decided to become an artist. I was really sensitive to colors and sounds and people. And these things are sources of inspiration and it's kind of stopping being present in the moment and, and using that to guide a handmade artwork. I live here in Miami now. It's really about responding to the air, the trees, the, the sands. It's about responding to a place that I feel really, uh, I guess, like in love with. Uh, my practice is really about working with fabrics and mixed media to create interesting prints reflecting on my environment here in Miami. I decided to become an artist, I think at a very early age, because of my sensitivities to my surroundings. I was enamored by colors and lizards and trees and my perception of my surroundings. And I think that my teachers at a young age also played an important role, even from middle school. And those people, they made me feel comfortable making artwork and it felt like something that I wanted to pursue. Currently, I'm working on a project for the Mount Sinai Hospital. It's an installation uh, in a new emergency center and it's basically 30 to 40 uh, hand-printed panels that will be hanging in this corridor. And those panels are a kind of gradient from sunrise to sunset, uh, where I'm looking at the colors, I'm, I'm kind of observing things that I find in my everyday routine. A palm branch on the ground or some animal scurrying across my front yard and these things are sources of inspiration and using that to guide a handmade artwork. And in this particular instance with the Mount Sinai project, it's several handmade artworks that create this one long timeline of colors and, and moments. When I first saw that crazy wall and the size of it, I was excited, to be honest. I felt like this is the kind of physical public space that I like to work with. And uh, the thought of it being in a hospital was also taken into consideration. It was very important to think about who would encounter this work, how they would encounter it, and the experience of walking through the hallway. So I really think about the time that goes with each person kind of experiencing the peace across this space. I think in making this work, I set myself up for something that I actually had to follow. And so I set myself up to this idea of being very present in the moment and not being so easily distracted. And that was really hard for me because I'm often sort of like, my attention is caught by different things happening in different places and I have many ideas and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna move on to this thing, or I'm gonna move on to that thing. And this project really forced me to pay attention to the thing that I wanted to make work about. And it forced me to sort of be present and 
really focus on one thing for an extended period of time. And I think that that was really valuable to my practice.